morning, everyone. Welcome to week seven in our fourth grade classroom. Hello, welcome. If you are new to my channel, my name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is Monday, September 26, 2022, and it is a teacher planning day. Hence, no students here. My classroom lights are off. So it's a nice, calm and relaxing day as I get through all my things on my to-do list. But right now I am trying to get some gifted paperwork done, but as I was coming in this morning, I stopped by Starbucks and I got myself a chai tea iced latte with pumpkin cold brew or cold foam on top. And it's so delicious. And I also got some egg bites. So here's my drink right here. And these are my egg bites. I also picked up this cup so that I can keep it in my classroom for my iced lattes. Since I keep my stock cold brew coffee in my mini fridge along with some non-dairy creamer so that I can just have some coffee whenever I feel like it. So it's good to go and it's nice that I have that. I also have another sippy cup, but now I have two options to use. All right, so I'm gonna get back to this paperwork and then I'll give you a glimpse of my to-do list once I'm done with this part of my day. Coming back to you with a little update. So I finished my gifted education plans and I have my to-do list on Google Keep, which I haven't used since last year. And I really love how I can easily add different checklists and I can check off what I have completed. So let me show you the list that I have for today. And I wanna preface this by saying that I am ambitious when it comes to these to-do lists and I am not gonna finish all of it, obviously but I did get my gifted education plans that I needed to get done. So next I'm gonna work on rearranging the student desk, coming up with a new seating chart. So those are two of those that I can check off once I'm done. I'm gonna finish my lesson plans, select my homework assignment for this week, make copies, and if I do have time, I'll get to these three things. One of them is to start decluttering the stuff that's underneath the kidney table. The other one is to make my student folder labels and my student data trackers. And these are my student folder labels. So I have new tabs that I need to put in all of these folders. So these two will be for reading. These two would be for language arts writing. These two would be for homework so I can keep the students' homework in a place that I can access them. So that's what I'm gonna be working on right now, starting with the desk and the arrangement in the classroom. I'm also not going to use certain things that I've used in the past. For example, I have used chair pockets in the past just to allow my students to have more space, but I'm noticing that we're not really using them this year since I'm only teaching one, two subjects pretty much. So we only have like one set of textbooks in each desk. So the students don't need as much space or organization. The same thing with the three drawer carts. They're not really using them. So I'm just going to find places for them in my classroom. And that'll give me a little bit more space where the students' desks go. Just finished arranging the desk. I decided to go with these horizontal rows. So there was three horizontal rows. The one in the front obviously is shorter because of our classroom rug but it has the sticky notes on top of the desk to let the students know where they're sitting, both my block one and my block two. So I can now come over here and click off rearrange desk and create new sitting chart. So now let's work on the rest of my to-do list. Just finished my lesson plans and putting them on Google Keep and choosing the homework and the activities that I need to make copies of. I won't make copies until I either leave or I'll just put them in my mailbox so I can make them tomorrow morning. We'll play it by ear because I think right now it's like 3.30 and I don't want to stay much longer. Plus the weather outside is rainy and I just want to go home. But let me show you what I completed. So here are my lesson plans and that is for the rest of this week. So for language arts reading, language arts writing, as well as the vocabulary words and the homework. I also have my differentiated passages for homework. So this is for the advanced, this is intermediate, and this is beginning, which is great for my ESOL students. So bigger pictures, shorter text, but the same skills are being assessed and they have scaffolded answers to their questions. And this is the graphic organizer that they will all complete for that passage for homework and it'll be due on Friday. So they get it tomorrow 
and then they turn it in on Friday. This is my tree map notes for our anchor text that we're going to read on Wednesday. So I did that and this is the selection test for the anchor text. I printed it as a booklet so I can just use one sheet and just fold it in half. And this is for Thursday. It's an article on bullying. It's against the law. And the cool thing is that they mention Catherine Otoshi, who is the author of One, Zero, and Two, which I have all those picture books. So I'll just quickly read them as well. So the students will be identifying the text structure, the author's claim, relevant evidence, and of course, finding the central idea and summarizing the text. This is how I set it up on my Google Keep. So I have my plans for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I can just check them off as I go along each day. And I can officially click off, finish lesson plans, and select homework assignment. This I'll see, but you know what? For the most part, I got a lot of things accomplished today. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I had already turned off the lights in my classroom because I just wanted to be nice and relaxing. I had some music playing while I worked, but there was one thing that I forgot to show you that I did as I was rearranging the classroom. And that is I have placed two of these organization bins on the side of my stage and I might just use it to organize different things. I also have another one hidden back here that I may not like use all the time. And I put another one back here and as well as up here. I also removed all my chair pockets and they are here so that I can put them away. So let's see how everything goes with these new changes. Um, you know, everything is always play by ear and we readdress things as we see fit. That's just one of the perks of, you know, being a reflective practitioner, right? Okay, so I'm going to see what else I can kind of finish up here because it is in fact 3.30 and I don't want to stay much longer, so I'm sure I'm not going to get through the rest of what I wanted to do, but it's okay. I did accomplish a lot of the things that I wanted to accomplish today that were on top of my to-do list. Well, I ended up leaving a little bit later than everyone else was announced because it's like almost 4 20 so like around four o'clock they came on and they said that make sure you leave by 4 20 and I wanted to put the bin my container with my copies and my paper in my mailbox but the office was closed so i just put it in my car and tomorrow morning i'll just bring it in and hopefully make copies then but gotta go so i'll see you tomorrow hello everyone oh my goodness as you can tell <clears throat> i'm losing my voice i think i'm getting laryngitis because my throat hurts a lot <sighs> But let me get through this so that I can let you know what happened today. So it's the end of the day on Tuesday, September 27. And we were just informed this morning that school will be closed tomorrow, Wednesday the 28th, and Thursday the 29th because Hurricane Ian is on the west side of us right now. But we're going to get like tropical storm kind of effects in our area already all day today. We've been under a tornado watch and it's been raining a lot, so the roads are flooded. Right now it's not raining, so it's good because as soon as I'm done with this, I'm shutting off all the computers and going home for a much needed rest and you know all that. But yeah, I am very anxious of the storm. Hurricanes always give me anxiety, but hopefully it's not gonna be anything major in our area, but I am thinking of all the people that are going to be directly impacted, especially in the Tampa area on the west coast of Florida. Hurricane Ian, as of now, is a Category 3. It is expected to increase to a Category 4 by the time it makes landfall on the west coast of Florida. So my thoughts and prayers and positive vibes go to everyone that's going to be affected by the storm. It always gives me anxiety, hurricane season. And I forgot to mention... Last Friday was my five-year YouTube anniversary, and when I started my YouTube channel back in 2017, I did it right after Hurricane Irma, and it was basically, I think it's titled, Instruction After Hurricane Days. So here we are again, five years later, we haven't had a major hurricane since, and we're bracing ourselves for this major hurricane. So that's why we're gonna have the next couple days off from school 
We're expected to come back on Friday, so we'll see how it goes. I did give the students my homework assignments for this week, which I shared yesterday. And let me just show you what we ended up doing today. We were debriefing the first wonders assessment that we took, which was for unit one weeks one and two, which had this passage that I printed on one side and the second passage on the other side. So students had the passages to refer to as we answered the questions. But I also went ahead and put the questions in my PowerPoint. So here are our Tuesday slides, and this was our agenda for today. I underestimated how long the debriefing would take. So we literally just did the debriefing and then the writing part, the last two here. So everything that dealt with the shared read, rereading the shared read dollars and cents for unit five or unit one week five, we didn't get to do. But this is what I ended up doing. I put all the questions on the side along with the percentage of the class that did get it right. So we went question by question and we answered it using a review game. So this is all of the questions for one of my blocks. And then I did the same thing for my second block. And I went ahead and did the Attack the Castle review game. So I wanna show you how I ended up doing it. So I had my block two this morning and I actually ended up having them put themselves in groups of three or three groups. And what I ended up doing because our houses, even though they're kind of even, and that's where our houses are right there. I would have done it by houses, but because they're not really even right now, I just had the students put themselves in groups. So <clears throat> with Attack the Castle, the purpose of the game is every team will have an opportunity to answer a question. And I use Wheel of Names in order to choose which kingdom was gonna answer. Now, when the students get chosen to answer the question, they will go ahead and answer it. And if their question is correct, they get to attack another castle. So if it was Kingdom One's turn and they got it correct, they got to attack a castle, one, one attack. So all these is the end result of the first game that we did. Now, if they get the question incorrect, I'm the orange sticky, so I will attack their castle. I call it like a natural disaster. So that's basically what how we what ended up going about the game. So as the teams had an opportunity to answer the questions, they will go ahead and See if they got it right. If they got it right, they got to attack another castle. If they got it wrong, I attacked them. And then I will go ahead to the next question. I love Wheel of Names because it can easily just choose the kingdom that has to go. And when it's picked, this happens. Now I end up hiding it so that the other teams get an opportunity. Now, once everyone gets an opportunity, I unhide all the kingdoms and then they go at it again so these were the results of my block two this morning and these were the results of my block one this afternoon which all of them were tied i actually did these myself so that all of them will be tied and all of them got the first place points which the first place points were five points in dojo and then i went ahead and awarded all the houses for participating so the students got double points for their kingdom that won and of course their house participation. So that's basically it. And then we went into writing. So for writing, we were going over how we make a claim and what is a claim. We looked at an example of a claim and how the author supports that claim. And then we answer these questions based on claims in order for students to understand why it's important to state the claim clearly and make sure that's focused throughout the essay and to only state one claim at a time. We analyzed this particular prompt, which is the one for the student model that we're going to look at or that we did look at. So this is my APT123. So A stands for audience, P for purpose, T for task. And of course, we find out by looking at the keyword that tells us what kind of essay, underlining the topic, and determining the one part or two part. So this is the example. This is from their book. I just put it on my slides. We looked at the introduction and we talked about it. Then we looked at body paragraph one, discussed it, body paragraph two, discussed it, and the conclusion. So this is my APT one, two, three. It's out of order right now, but just to show you that this is how I explain it. And when we return to school, the students will be working on this particular prompt. So that's basically the gist for today and what we ended up doing. Now I'm going to power down computers, grab my things, try to shut off 
the shutters that I can because some of them I can't close and go home and I'll let you know how things turn out later this week. I'm not gonna vlog during the hurricane days, but when we return to the classroom, that's when I will give you an update on the rest of this week, which is week seven. All right, so I'll see you then. Hello, everyone. As you can tell, my voice is like not 100%, but I wanted to give you an update to close out the week. On Friday, we returned back to school. So the last time I left you, I let you know that we were gonna have two hurricane days on Wednesday and Thursday. So our school district was closed for those days and we returned on Friday. Well, you knew that when I left you on Tuesday, my voice was leaving and it completely left by that evening. And Friday when I came back, I had no voice and I still came to work. I should have stayed home. And I couldn't speak at all. I had to use a text-to-speech app that I have on my phone in order to communicate with the students and of course project the assignments on the PowerPoint on the board. That was a really tough day and I ended up sending an email in the morning to my principal. She didn't get back to me until like around one something. And at that time I did ask if I could leave so that I could go to urgent care. So they had to split up my class and I went to urgent care. Ends up, I have an infection in my glands and my throat, mostly in my glands because my throat doesn't hurt when I swallow. And the infection had spread to my ear, was going down to my lungs which if you don't know, I have asthma, so that complicates my breathing. So doctor told me to take off until Tuesday. So today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. And I'm gonna close out this week so I can start the new vlog because I'm back in the classroom as you can see. But I did take the day off yesterday and I did leave sub plans, which I'll talk about in the following week's vlog. But on Friday, as you can imagine, it was really, really hard. And I just had the students work on independent assignments. And that was basically my day and my week. Please send out good vibes and prayers to everyone on the West Coast to Central Florida who got really impacted by Hurricane Ian. They had record floods and it's devastating what has happened over there. We are okay over here in South Florida. Not many, not as much damage. We did have a couple of tornadoes touch down. So just keep them in your thoughts and prayers as I'm gonna do as well. All right, so that is the end of week seven. What a uh, eventful week, I would say. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello, dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.